Mary A.C. Wanyonyi, having been appointed the chairperson of the Commission on Revenue Allocation. Mary Wanyonyi was on Monday morning sworn in as the new chairperson of the Commission on Revenue Allocation. Chief Justice Martha Kome administered the oath of office to Wanyonyi, who becomes the third chairperson of the Commission. CRA in making recommendation shall seek to define and enhance the revenue sources of the national and county governments. During the ceremony, the Chief Justice noted that the Commission on Revenue Allocation must always strive to meet the needs of Kenyans in every corner of the country and must endeavor to understand the unique needs and aspirations of each county and ensure that they get their rightful shares of resources. Kome was speaking on Monday after presiding over the swearing-in of Mary Wanyonyi as the Chairperson of Revenue Allocations. And the Commissioners of CLA to always remember that and as you undertake your mandate the people of kenya are the true owners of these resources you have been chosen to ensure that the resources of kenyans are located with the utmost transparency equity and prudence and this is in accordance with the dictates of our constitution. Wanyonyi pledged to uphold the commission's independence and to execute her functions in a transparent, accountable and impartial manner. Under my leadership, the commission will endeavor to guide on the use of an integrated county revenue management system. The economies of scale enjoyed by this system will significantly reduce the cost of revenue administration in counties and significantly increase the revenue collection across countries. Currently, revenue estimates are unrealistic and ambitious and are applied as balancing figures to support the budget. The failure to collect the revenue leads to pending bills at the end of the financial year and this negatively impacts service delivery at the county level. County also revenue, the OSR, can make a significant impact in improving the livelihoods and welfare of Kenyans. The game changer for the counties will be to automate revenue collection. Through automation, counties can collect beyond their potential. The Chief Justice noted that it was imperative to recall that the very heart of devolution, a tenant deeply ingrained in our constitution, is to bring the government and resources closer to the people. You are the C1 of our nation's resources. You are going to provide a guiding hand that will ensure that every shilling is fairly and equitably distributed. This responsibility is critical in shaping the course of our nation, in supporting our counties to achieve their development potential, and ensuring the economic and social rights of all our Kenyans are met. Wanyonyi was vetted for the position on 22nd of June, where she pledged to focus on enhancing the country's own revenue generation if she was considered for the job. She told the MPs that a weak revenue collection system has become a challenge as cash collected manually always end up in wrong hands. Husbands. And that, Honorable Speaker, I beg to move that this House accept, approves the appointment of CPA Mary A.C. Wanyonyi as a chairperson for Commission on Revenue Allocation and, and do ask the vice chair of the Committee of Finance and National Planning, the Honorable Ambassador Langat, to second. With that, I thank you, Honorable Speaker. Wanyonyi, the wife of former IEBC chairperson Mofula Chebukati, was picked by President William Ruto from a final list of three forwarded to him by the Public Service Commission following interview process. The vetting of a nominee for the appointment as a chairperson of the Commission on Revenue Allocation laid on the table of the House on Tuesday, 27th June 2023, and pursuant to the provisions of Article 215 2A of the Constitution and Section 81 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act 2011, this House approves the appointment of CPA Mary S.C. Wanyonyi as a chairperson of the Commission on Revenue Allocation. Thomas Ludindi and Felicity Biriri were the other candidates. She replaces Jen Kiringai, who retired after serving for six years. And ensuring the economic and social rights of all our Kenyans are met. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Amesh Msimbi.